All right, guys, welcome to another video. We are here in Belarus um, with a company called Blockchain Drift. We're going to be doing what are we doing? Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. Right now, we're going for breakfast. Oh, and, uh, yeah, breakfast first. But what's the gist of today? So we'll do we'll be doing a shoot starting from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. Gonna be a lot of cool stuff there, so we'll see. Street you there. drifting. Hmm? Street drifting. Yeah. Drifting on the road just down here? Uh, not sure, but the first spot is around the dramatic theater, so we'll see how it goes. So essentially, they're doing a, a is it a film? Is it a series of films or one big film? Uh, it's one big film in different locations. Yeah. Like different scenic locations with history around the Belarus. So right now, I think that's the fourth city that we are at. And we still have one or two more to go. Yeah. So, yeah, they've been filming with a few Japanese drivers, some other Aussie drivers, Jake Jones and Daniel Messimo here. They've been doing some filming yesterday and the day before and stuff. And I guess, will they be here today or are they going to a different spot? Uh, they're at Minsk right now, so they will come tomorrow. tomorrow yeah. Morning. So there's a ton going on. We're actually going to be, yeah drifting around a monument, basically monuments and things of um, that nature all around Belarus, so super cool. And um, my second time here in Belarus, but my first time was in 2010, so literally 14 years ago. Cool place to visit and um, really stunning. So yeah, getting to drift on some of these places is gonna be super rad. I'll show you guys more about it as we uh, get into it. I guess we've made it to basically where we're going to be shooting this weekend um, well today it's not even a weekend I think it's like Wednesday maybe or Thursday it's a freaking beautiful spot views here are out of control just that little montage I put in then but yeah drifting in a pretty wild place uh, I don't have no idea which car I'm driving uh, that one or that one or that one over there that one over there I sussed out this one has a sequential and stuff. This one's like a 2J HGK build. I've no idea about that one yet. I haven't looked at it. This one, I have no idea about either. And then there's that one. So we'll work it out. What's this one? Damn, they're all sequentials? That's crazy. They must all be sequential. So kind of cool. All right, so we got some things sorted out. I think it's an E92. E92. 92? Uh, 80? Uh, model. Model car. Um, yeah, language barrier here. I don't know, is that an E92 or E80 something? I don't know. Driving this car, 2J, sequential, quick change, all the good stuff. But I'm bigger than the owner of the car, so we're going to go ahead and chuck another seat in. And I'm not sure if the seat's going to go back far enough, so that's going to be interesting for us to work out but yeah i'm not sure about any spec it's wise fab front and rear maybe so yeah we'll work it out all right pop the hood to see what we're working with it's either a 1.5 j or it's just a 1j bbti um there's nothing wrong with that it's not a 2j though <laughs> they said it was a 2j uh psr turbo they said it was wise fab uh but it's i, I think this is like a local version of Wisefab, but I'm sure it's probably gonna feel somewhat similar. Not a lot I know, really. 
Um, the guy that owns the car doesn't speak any English at all, so I've only got a little bits and pieces off another guy, so yeah, I guess we'll find out things pretty soon. Always interesting, coming to new places, there's language barriers involved, um, <clears throat> and depending on what country you're in, I have saw this a lot when I've been in Poland, they do their own version of WiseFab, um, which is kind of a copy of WiseFab, and I don't know what this stuff is, but it looks like WiseFab, but it's not, so it's kind of interesting to check it all out, see what it drives like, depending on the specs the other guy had as well, so we'll have a look. Good to try? Alright, so getting my situation sorted out, the biggest problem is the steering wheel doesn't move on this car and it's kind of far away, which I can deal with, but the height, it doesn't move up or down and the steering wheel is sitting super low, so uh, I need to put the seat super low where I can barely see over the dash so my knees don't hit the steering wheel. So we'll see how we go. Alright, we're in the car now, getting ready to do some things, they went and did some test laps already probably a couple thousand people out on the street which is kind of gangster um i've got cameras so this is my eyesight so this is how low i'm sitting in the car so i can't even see the bonnet at all so that's going to be interesting however the hardest thing is i don't the seat doesn't go far enough back in this car and the steering wheel super low like if it was up to me the steering wheel would be up like here and i would have room for my legs to move and stuff but now i'm in a situation to get to the throttle I have like, you know, for me to use the throttle, my knee basically touches the steering wheel. So it's not the safest, but always I make do. So we'll just make do and um, should be all right. Should be fine. It's just definitely not ideal for um, what I need to be able to do my job. The seat's just, it could go so much further back, but the rails just don't allow it. So yeah, I have to deal with it. Part of being six foot two, I guess. So, uh, before every go, they will let you just warm up the front tires, and that's it. So you will drift, warm the tires, drift, warm the tires. That's it. How can you do that? Go in second gear. Hey, how do you start the car? <laughs> what? Nobody told me how to start the car. Uh, I'm not.
like to do some donuts? Well, that's that for now. All right, so my battery went dead, so I had to go find another battery. But it's all happening here. Um, the guys are pretty stoked with my driving, which is really good. Even the guy that owns the car is super stoked. Even his friends came up to me and they're like, yeah, we've we've only ever seen him maybe drive like that a couple times in competition and you're just like cruising around. So yeah, it'd be better if I fit better, but I'm still having a blast. It's freezing cold, um, but they're doing, I think the car I'm driving is over there. This is another car. And there's another car that has my name on it over there. They're doing some crazy, crazy rig on it. I don't even know how to explain or what's happening with it all. But... So yeah, multiple cameras, multiple angles. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. So yeah, just flying by the seat of my pants. Just waiting on a coffee now. We've got a coffee film wagon thing going on. And um, yeah, just keep cruising. just quickly go out and do another lap or two laps I think we did um, not, uh, it's kind of funny it's sick to be part of but I really don't know what's going on and, and like I have an earpiece in but they're speaking Belarusian the whole time except for when they say one two three <laughs> so I just wait and then I hear one two three all of a sudden I'm like quickly chuck it into gear and away we go so uh, yeah it's fun. all right I'm not sure if you guys can hear me but we're still in Belarus been a fairly chill day so far. Um, by chill, I mean freezing, but it's also been relaxed. But I'm about to jump into an E30. Not sure if I'm drifting it. I don't know anything about the car. I, some sort of BQ or VG maybe. Um, I don't even know if I fit, to be honest. The guy that owns it, husky like I am, but he's kind of short, so I'm not sure if I'll fit. So we'll uh, jump in and have a look. A couple of other Australians here as well. Australia. He doesn't look well. very Australian, but he's Australian. What was that? I said you, you're more Japanese than Australian these days. <laughs> yeah, because I live there. <laughs> exactly. Still can't say a word. So we have to take off this gigantic name, and they're going to chunk my name on it. So let's go. All right. I have no idea. We're going. All right. Okay, Pro Drifter Daniel Massima. What are we doing? I don't know, man. <laughs> we're just out here. We're literally just discussing how we don't know what's going on. Ciao. What's going on? What are we doing? I don't have an idea. <laughs> Stand here and look pretty. <laughs> you need a like. You need the four door car to fit the rest of your name. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. They did your full name, huh? <laughs> yeah. They did. They did. Yeah. <laughs>
special programming to bring you specials from Luke and LukeFink.com. Luke um, Fink. LukeandFink.com. LukeFink.com. Guys, we uh, got a big sale on. Well, not a big sale. Wifey's wifey wants to be busy, and uh, yeah, she's. I Put a ton of stuff on special. So. I just feel like it's coming towards the end of the year. We have new stuff. We only have this tiny little like three by three office. Um, so I want to get rid of some stuff. So we have the new Falcon shirts. These are unbelievably cool guys. So yeah, obviously looks like a Lawson store, Mount Fuji in the background, and obviously the Japan Falcon right there. And we got, um, we got these cool little playing cards. So for everyone that orders a Falcon shirt, or um, we do have this in a hoodie as well. Um, which I know it doesn't help Australians, but well, Melbourne. Melbourne, yeah. <laughs> anywhere, <laughs> anywhere down south where it's still cold. But everywhere on the other side of the world's going into winter. So yeah, you get a playing card plus like a few extra stickers in that. Uh, she's also dropped all stickers across the store to five bucks. Yep. Uh, what else have you done? Uh, Archie hoodies, like the RAP Archie ones. Um, I've reduced them to fifty dollars. Um, so that's a great deal. And I've reduced pretty much everything in the store by like the new Falcon shirts and the patrol shirts. So yeah. so I'll give you guys a really, really hot tip. Do yourself a favor, jump onto the store, absolutely grab yourself any of that stuff. But trust me, you want to get yourself the R32 barn find shirt. There's some pretty crazy news coming up with that car. Trust me, go and get that shirt now. So we're not printing any more of them and you'll regret it if you don't. All right, back to uh, the schedule programming. Yeah.